All right, guys, welcome back to the Insorum server. Once again, we are here in Spawn Town starting off. We are joined by Flake, MJ, and Fuzz, and they're doing things, and they're in TeamSpeak. I am not because I'm recording, which is, which is, which is why I'm not in TeamSpeak. Um, I'm in Spawn Town, I know, to have a look around, and because I want to look at the Nether Hub, which, because it is looking very, very different. So we have... Uh, Aimbill's witchy goods over here, which look pretty cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> he's in the three iron blocks, I believe, because he's doing the automatic storage system a bit like I'm doing. Uh, so he needs iron for his hoppers and stuff. Uh, but we will get to the automatic storage system uh, later in the episode. Build the road. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the other stuff we have news. We have something up here. Sure, this is what have we got over here? What is this? Looks very plain. Cardux, private eye, we solve mysteries, okay. Okay. I think Gardux has been doing something with mysteries around the server or something like that. Oh, there's a new actually there was a bunch of signs leading Back over here to this to this building over here, which I saw earlier. That's a bunch of signs leading to this. Now I'm gonna leave that. Um, I've already been in it. There's not much there. Hmm. Not too sure. It, it's not that interesting, to be honest. Hey, Sunny. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. Talking about Sunny. Oh, that's lovely. Guys, just don't look at the chat. That is... Ah, oh, don't. It's horrible language. I don't think you guys mind too much. Sunny's Seaside Stationary Shack. Very alliteration there. Ugh, tongue twist up. Guaranteed drug free. Donations box. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This looks this looks good. It's very, very cramped. Oh, sorry, I built in the video. Sorry, you knew about it. Uh, but this over here is also new. Cobblestone thing? No, dies. Oh. Okay. I thought it was a cobblestone shop from the video, but... Okay. White dye, black dye, etc. dies. Um, maybe in a bit delayed. Okay. I uh, He was doing something in the nether. Killing pigment, it looks like. Um, I think me being in the nether decreases the spawns. Uh, we will have to go into the nether, though, for for a brief time. <laughs> uh, I think that's all that's been built, unless Zip's done something over there, which I doubt. Uh, so, spawn town, not that interesting. Oh, beacon. I totally forgot to mention this. Why do I... Why is the speed not up? Yeah, see, there it is. So, we have beacon, wishing well, throw in a coin and make a wish. Mm -hmm. So, we have the beacon up. Of course, we killed the wither. As I'm not sure if I put it in the title of the video, I haven't really decided yet. But we killed the Wither, uh, which you'll see in the middle of this episode. Bit of an ad break kind of vibe. I, I like that. Um, we will now go into the Nether. It appears the stairs fiasco is continuing. I'm uh, I might read them later because the stair the stair fiasco. It's a bit of an argument between the guys. I don't really like it. I think it's gone a bit too far. So, uh... I'm not going to comment any more on it. Uh, it's basically, some people want the stairs, some people don't. So It's a bit, bit uh, disappointing. So, I'm not going to comment on it any further. But, um... Nah. We have our new nether hub. <laughs> Didn't surprise me as much as I saw it the first time. I already recorded something in which I saw it the first time, so this is technically my second time seeing it, which is a bit disappointing, I guess. But um, this is it. I believe done by Fairy Juice because his name is everywhere. I usually would guess Lowe would do it, but I guess he didn't this time or something. Hmm. I don't know, but to clear the roof from Netherrack doesn't look like any Netherracks on there. Take the station down, bring into chest of fairy juice, etc, etc. So, um, we have all the tunnels still there. And the south tunnel we now have to go up to. Is this south? 
Yes. Yeah, south tunnel. South tunnel. We'll put it in stairs eventually, I guess. Uh, I think we'll keep the tunnel the same height. Uh, actually, what we might do, I think, is might center this tunnel more. All, you, all we have to do is kind of block this one off and just expand out kind of like this kind of thing. So we may do that. I'm feeling that may have to happen. But we'll see what happens. So uh, that's about all. And I am going to do fancy transition back to the base now because we have got to go work on the storage system. So let's do it. Okay, so I haven't done too much around here. But um, you can see I've kind of got to start trying out some patterns um, with the storage room. I went for the kind of fun song look. Fun song. I went for the kind of fun song look. Uh, I call it a fun song look just because he does it more often than not. And I actually went ahead and set up a bit of the storage system which I was going to do. Yep, I take it here. I take it you got that, the one I was going to do. Now, I've had a look around at storage systems mostly on YouTube. And I was going to do this storage system which allows you to store one item or type of item per row. Now, to store every item in the game, that will take so much storage space. You do not believe how much storage space storage space that would take uh, probably about four levels of this both sides so it's just not really practical to do uh, with what I want to do I just want to store every item in the game <laughs> a humble request <laughs> uh, so it's a bit hard because um, I was trying to find a really compact system that's not too resource uh, heavy and it turns out there isn't one so I'm going to have to go with a really complicated system. So the system I'm going to go with is one by a man named JL2579, or at least it was on his video. He helped develop it. Uh, and it is based off a design by Seth Bling on his most recent Minecraft. I'm not sure if it's his most recent Minecraft video anymore, but on a Minecraft video he did. Uh, I may post the links to both of those. Uh, at least JLs will probably post because that's the system I'll be using. Uh, unfortunately, it is extremely, extremely uh, resource heavy. And the thing is, I'll probably have to build the most of the system before I get it working. So I'm going to have to figure out all the space I need, everything I need. We may get a bit of it done, a bit of the framework built this episode is what I'm thinking. And the other thing I'm thinking we can do is maybe even flesh out the melon farm up there. But we'll have to see what happens for right now. You're going to get an ad break coming right at you. A break from the... The... the what, what am I trying to call it? break from redstoning, I guess. Because this is just all be just mass redstoning. I keep hearing a zombie here. Um, break from all this redstoning, because I know you guys just hate me doing redstone. Uh, it's probably your, most, your least favorite thing to see. I know, it's okay. So I'm going to give you, right now, the wither fight. Shown in full, definitely not HD, uh, definitely full 480p. How many pixels? And so many pixels. So many pixels. So enjoy, and I'll just catch you afterwards. Okay. All right, I'm going to start recording now, so start being entertaining. Mm -hmm. Stop no, with that. I don't feel like it. Be entertaining, damn it! Hey, sorry? I can let loose a few pigments again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm watching the Ryan awesome video. We are starting to blow up the wither and we're doing it on a gout sign. And now it's time to kill Nessie. What? No, he's looking at thorns. Ah! <laughs> the thorny, the thorny and guy. Lo looks, looks like Gowden's going to beat the wither with a bone. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Look out. I felt... Ah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. No, get here! <laughs> <laughs> You're not hitting it. Like me. Don't kill me, don't kill me! Holy crap! <laughs> TNT. <laughs> Love it. Damn, it's moving so much. Yeah, fairy's taking it. No, fairy! Uh oh. Okay, sword, 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 swords. Am I taking it? I'm taking it! 
You gotta melee it now. I'm dying. I'm gonna die right now. Oh, sorry, Galax. <laughs> sorry. You got him away. Sorry, so G. So close, guys. It's alright. I'll save us. We're still alive. Did Me. Draco die yet? Draco never dies. Draco I'll save us. <laughs> and I forgot to set my spawn. We got it! Woohoo! Seriously, low. I got the star. Oh, I died and respawned right uh, before I got dead, the achievement. Almost dead. So everybody got the achievement, but me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't there for the end of Dragon Fight. There so you go. Get the achievement. No, you still can. Uh, you can still get the achievement. You just have to get another wither. Good luck. Yeah. Well, no, I need to kill an Ender Dragon. No, you don't. You don't need to kill the Ender Dragon to get the achievement. You just need yeah, to enter the end and e exit the end. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I don't have a blaze rod. Who got the wither star? Me. Okay. Oh, I got it, but then fairy just Well, no, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna um in the room with the bed. The bedroom. In Not the like bedroom. I'm quite. Keep that's okay. Your... Done. Cough again. <laughs> um, um. Can somebody grab all my stuff? Uh, my yeah, bow. Yeah, just grabbing everything. Uh, sword bow. I got no bow. Sorry. Whoa, get in. You got no bow? Really? It's down here somewhere. Must be down here. Yeah. Well, now it's down here anyway. It's cobblestone. Oh, don't worry about cobblestone. Is there any wood in here? Yeah, down here. Oh, what is it? Yeah. McGavin, yeah. Yeah. Second. Hi, Gowdan. Oh, he can't hear me. First, the lily pad. And then I give you McGavin. <gasps> lily pad. I I'm still waiting on my stuff. Did my stuff, uh. Did my stuff get exploded? I got my steak. Rip. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Looks much better like that. Yeah. Go boom boom. <laughs> now it now it says gear. Dip. The rodent. Rodent. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little wither fight we had there. Uh, it was a lot of fun, uh, to be honest. Didn't last too long, and uh, I actually had a big part in this one, unlike the Ender Dragon fight, where I don't think I actually got a hit in on the Ender Dragon fight, which is okay, you know, that's fine. Um, lag's always going to do that to me. Uh, I actually want to sleep first. Damn it, I should have slept beforehand. Um... I'm not sure if I've actually showed you where my mine is. I don't think I have. I haven't been back here on camera for a little bit. Still my little water doorway, cool thing. Um, my mine's actually down here. I'm not going to go down there. There's nothing special about it. Just a water drop down there and not too much, to be honest. There's not much. But I'll be down there a fair bit. Uh, probably not for the Q&A session, um, which you actually still need to get your questions in for. That's right. Get down in those comments, post your questions. I'm planning to do the q and I think I've only got five questions, I think. I went back over the last page of videos and I think I only found five questions. I'll go back over them again, but I don't have that many. I thought I had more, which is a little disappointing, but, uh, you know, only because, you know, I hype myself up for... I've got all these questions. What was I going to... I was going to sleep. Yeah, I was going to there. Um, I got myself hyped up because I thought I had all these questions. I'm going to do an awesome episode and I don't really... Um, I can't really fill 20 minutes with five questions, I don't think. Uh, I don't think I'm that good. So, you're going to have to get down there and post some random questions about anything. doesn't need to be Minecraft related. 
Uh, doesn't even need to be related to me. You can ask my opinion on uh, <laughs> Micronesian politics, um, of, of which I'll, I'll probably give you an extremely detailed answer. I'm not sure why. Micronesian popped ahead because uh, I've just watched Zoolander. Man, that's a good movie. I love Zoolander. <laughs> oh, man. It, seriously, one of the best comedy movies. It, it's just... It's good satire, that movie. It's really good satire, is what I call it. And I, I can really appreciate good satire. But anyway, enough of that. We have this. That looks trippy, but I don't mind it. Um, I've been fleshing out this floor a little bit more as a start. And I've got this obsidian because I want to relocate my nether portal. I was considering leaving it up there, but then I... I, I chose against it because... Uh, I, it's, it's an awkward, it's kind of is in the middle of everything. I'm out of food. Pork chops. Uh, it is kind of in the middle of everything, but it's not, uh, I like, ooh, ooh, my glass is done. Oh, well. I like everything more clean, and I don't like having to jump up here. I'd have to put a staircase through here, and have a staircase down, and all this, to be honest, I would rather put just a building up here and have my nether portal at a more central location, i.e. Uh, next to my storage room. I'd rather people come in and be able to go this way up to the wheat farm, go this way, which will have probably have something over here, and be able to go loop around and come up here to a building, which I'll probably put here. Again, I'll probably put something like a tower here, just a small tower. Um, probably not a crappy watchtower like I did last time. Not really sure what I'll put up here. I'll probably clear some space and see what I can build. Um, probably an uh, observatory, probably, is probably what I'd go for because it's a completely original idea and no one else has done it. Uh, not even Lit Zippo has thought of doing an observatory. Can't even pronounce it. Uh, observatory. Observatory. <laughs> go watch Lit Zippo's videos if you don't get what I'm referring to, but he has a very nice observatory in Spawn. I don't care about that waste of coal. I have plenty of coal. So that's what's happening. And with the storage system itself, I relocated some chests over here for random junk, as you probably saw. But here is the start of my new storage system. Now, if you've seen videos... I, I think I mentioned this. Did I mention it? I filmed the first bit too long ago. But we are going with a design, by the, a design made by a man... By the name of JL2579. 234. 1, 2, 3, 4. I uh, JL2579 made an excellent storage system. One which is pretty much purely optimized. Unfortunately, it is extremely resource intensive. So basically, what I'll be doing is I'll be moving my storage over to here. And I'll be fleshing out the actual storage part first. Uh, so I'll be fleshing out the storage part so I can drop it in like drop items in like the top hopper. And then I'll flesh it out to be able to uh, actually the sort the items. So, uh, although I probably even can't do that, but I've, I've uh, yep, cobblestones up here because that is going to be the first chest it goes to, because the lines, the the chest that it's going to go into is going to be here. Unfortunately, it means this line. I actually may do, yeah, what I'll do here from the wheat farm. I'll have it drop down. Have a dropper and then have it go along an ice path probably. Uh, just because it's one quicker and two uh, less resource heavy. I don't need to use hoppers and I might as well. Um, so any sugar cane that falls down there will get funneled down to there. I may lose sugar cane this way when I unload the chunk. Uh, but I'm not too fussed to be honest. Uh, because when I harvest the wheat farm I'm going to be present. The chunk's going to be loaded so there's not going to be any issue there. So that's the idea, that's what's going to happen. And basically any other farms I want to build are all going to be funneled down to here. If I want to do a smelting room, I'm going to funnel it uh, into a... I think the input chest is going to be here. I think it, it may even be... It may even be there. But I'm not sure. I haven't... I don't know the design well enough. Um, so that's the idea. So what's going to happen over the next X number of episodes, however long it takes me to get uh, the required resources... Um, I'm going to be slowly building this. The droppers aren't too hard to get. I just need redstone. Uh, but the hoppers, again, it's going to be a lot of hoppers. There's going to be 
Another row of chests in between these, which are all going to have hoppers attached to them. So that's one, two, three, four, five times seven, 35 hoppers there. And then there's actually like a grid of hoppers, like a nine by, uh, exclude that. I think it's nine by six uh, row of hoppers on the top there. So it's big. It's big. And I like it that way. It's big and complex. I really like it. Uh, props to JL2579. Go check out his video. Uh, in the comments, uh, in the comments, in the description, uh, I should say. Um, I was going to actually build another portal. Where actually, because I like it so much, we're going to take this down on camera. It's now a. Uh, it's on a neighbor's. Is that spot right? Neighbor? I don't know. Your neighbor to the right over the hill. I wonder how fun Sun's doing. We should go visit him. But we're going to have to take it down. It is in the way now, which is okay. That's fine. I left it there for us. Pretty much as long as I could. But we're going to take it down live on camera. So ultimate respect to Fun Song. It's okay. I've got I've got this in another video too, so that's okay. And we'll grab the jack o' lantern. So beautiful. We'll grab the tape, the crafting bench, and we need to find our center block. I should keep my cobble. Our center block is down here. How wide is this thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, so we need to get eight. Oh, that's bullshit. What the hell? He literally teleported straight into my vision. How do you dodge that? What? Oh my, I hope he doesn't come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the center block here. Uh, actually, I'll probably make it go down into it, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So what we want is bang, bang, bang. Like this. And uh, one more. Can we get that high? All right. I think this will work. I'm not sure about the mechanics of nether portals, but that should work. It's three wide now, so I assume it will work. So we're going to knock out this one. Hopefully it doesn't link to anything anywhere stupid. I can't imagine it will link to anywhere but my original portal. There's no one really, really close to me, so... Oops. Oh. This is quick. And we'll light it. Okay. And, it, yeah, it should link to my portal. If it doesn't, it's a bit dumb. It should. Yeah, yeah, that's my tunnel. Beautiful. I may change this portal in the future as well, but that's a okay. It doesn't. Yep, and it goes to this portal, so that's nice. That's good. That's what I want. So hopefully the floor will be done next episode. I have to go get some more dark oak. I like the dark oak, to be honest. It fits well with the birch, although I guess the old spruce did as well. Uh, so that's that. And to end the episode, I'm going to get up on the the tower. Up on the tower up here. Uh, we should have some... Uh, let's get some elevator music going. Elevator music. No. No elevator music. No elevator music. It's, it's old. It's outdated. We don't use it again. Uh, so this is the starting point for my melon farm. Uh, or pumpkin farm, but probably melon because, you know, they're slightly more useful. Uh, pumpkins I'm not going to use except for lighting. Um, so the idea here is a more optimized version of this thing. Unfortunately, this thing I've realized is not the same as on the old map. And it's actually less optimized because when these pistons push and break the sugar cane, it a lot of the time lands on the opposite thing. So I may actually have to redesign the sugar cane farm because it is getting terrible rates. Um... I need to have a glass thing in the middle, basically, so I've rectified this with this, 
And basically, you have the water flowing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down to here, and we'll have a little water thing uh, funneling into here, which will then funnel into the center here. And that's pretty much it. That's that's it. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I should actually explain how it works. Um, so basically what happens is we're going to have the melon stalk here, which will be hydrated because the water's there, which is good. And we're going to run it on a timer, I think. I still haven't 100% decided, but I'm feeling timer just because, one, it's different to this thing, and two, I don't know. I'm not really sure why. I, I, I guess because it's it's cooler. It's different to that and it's cool. <laughs> and I want I don't want to do something different. I know. Keep it keep it fresh. Bud switches are old school, but timers, they're new school. They're new school. Um so basically what happens, I break this dirt block. So the melons are gonna grow on this block, and we're gonna have a sticky piston here, right where I'm clicking there, that's gonna push up, and then a piston that's going to push across. Now this kind of optimizes the melon rates. With a melon farm if you pop the melon and it goes on the stalk, there's no way you can automatically retrieve it. Uh, I don't believe. Unless hoppers go through tilled soil, which I don't believe they do. So there's no way to retrieve that uh, except if you... It's a new moon again. Except if you break the melon stem. So obviously you don't want to do that. So I think it's going to have to be like that. And I think that will uh, get the optimum results for melons. Uh, without being, you know, overly stupidly complicated. So for this, I need 16 pistons per side, 8 of them sticky, which makes 16 sticky and 16 regular pistons. Now, unfortunately, I haven't built this because I don't have the required amount of slime balls. Uh, I was actually hunting with fuzz earlier today, uh, but apparently in swamp biomes, slimes don't appear on uh, new moons, or appear very rarely, should I say. And they appear very common, commonly on full moons, apparently. Um, which I haven't really noticed in my single player, and I probably should have, to be honest. Uh, what I can do here is just drop straight down. Hmm. So this melon farm, hoping will be up and running. All I need is 11 slime balls, which I mean, I guess I could get from someone, but I'd rather just, you know, go get them myself. It'll take me like two slimes, two large slimes to do it. So I have to go hunting myself. But apart from that, we have skeletons over there. I'm going to call this an episode. Hopefully I at least got to 20 minutes. I think I did, to be honest. This last bit was long enough. So, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Uh, it was a nice little wither fight. Didn't get too much done, but uh, that's going to be nice and pretty my next episode. That is a large nether portal. Holy crap. This is this uh, Mellow Farm's going to be done next episode, and the floor down there, I'm hoping, will be done next episode. And the storage system will... It'll get done when I get the resources. Uh, so, one last parting word. Get your... Oh, oh. Get your questions in. Q&A, caving, and I said it for ages, is coming up. And the only reason I'm not doing it is because I haven't got enough questions. And I know you guys love the Q&A caving. So get your questions up there. Again, any way you can. Um, you know, Twitter, email, uh, carrier pigeon, I also also accept. Um, in, a, in a pinch, you know, if you uh, live in some stupid area like Australia or somewhere, you know, remote like that. Uh, get get it to me any way you can, and uh, I think that's all about. A, that's about all I have to say. Uh, is kind of more what I want to say. So hope you enjoyed it again, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Of course it rains. <laughs> See you later, guys.